Magnolia Solangiana, a deciduous tree that is known for its blossoms that come out in the early spring. Beautiful, beautiful blossoms. Then the leaves come on, but it's also a tree that is known for a real big problem. It's the infestation of scale. It's kind of interesting right there. We've got a bee. It looks like the bee is going after some of the honeydew from the scale there. Anyway, what you can see up here is along all the branches are these little tiny bumps. And there are actually two stages on this particular tree. You've got the adults and you've got the really tiny, I guess those are the instars. And there are a lot of insects that are attracted to the, the honeydew. Um, it's important to recognize that all the leaves are incredibly sticky. It's, it's very, very uh, worrisome here. So people are always asking me, what do you do about this problem? Well, there's a treatment that is a chemical that is put out by Bayer. It's called Merit, and it's a soil drench. You put it around the, the base of the tree and out into the root zone. And according to the label, you do it in the springtime, and it goes up into the system of the tree. And uh, when the insects bite on the, the tree, then they uh, receive the insecticide and that helps control them. That works sort of, not completely. Uh, a lot of my clients are having problems resolving uh, the, the issue and even with merit, they're uh, not able to completely control it. This tree hasn't received any attention whatsoever. And another very noticeable uh, symptom is the blackening you'll see on the, the leaves. That's a, a sooty mold that grows off of the stickiness and you'll see it on all the, not all of them, but many of the branches. And when you look throughout the entire tree, it's hard to find any branches that are not being attacked by this scale. And, and you'll see a lot of big scale out near the ends here. Uh, one treatment that I recommend to my clients to try is um, using using a hose with a presentable pressure nozzle, something like this that'll put a, a pretty strong pointed uh, force. And it, you don't want a high pressure pressure washer because that might tear the bark off. But with a hose on good volume, you can go through and, and wash the branches. And it, it does do a, a pretty good job of knocking off a lot of the scale. I just did a quick wash off in this area and this looked as bad as the, the previous shots. And this whole branch up here was totally full. And I didn't get it all, but as you look up here and you go up and here's where I didn't get it. So you can see that um, it, it does seem to help. Um, a lot of people don't want to do that and they, they're looking for the chemical fix or the, you know, the, the quick treatment, but there is no easy remedy for this problem. There are a, a few um, treatments that I've heard of. People have tried different types of, of uh, like uh, um, an oil spray and that does seem to help, especially in different stages of the insect. Another issue to remember is that scale um, is not a seasonal insect. It doesn't just come out and, and have all of the eggs at one time and all of the, the larvae and the instars and all the different stages. Uh, it, it seems to be many, many different stages at the same time consistently throughout the whole season, which is part of the reason it's so hard to control. So I do recommend the merit, but I um, also recommend targeting individually. And if you can get on a program of washing off your leaves and trying to knock off as much of the scale as you can, you know, it's a dirty, nasty job, but if you can actually get up there and use your fingers to kind of wipe off the branches as you go, that helps. But that is limited to the size of the tree. Fortunately, this is generally a smaller type of tree. So I, I think about an hour's effort on this would, um, would do, do it a world of good.